I'm, I'm 36. I'm the oldest a millennial can be. And I know you're all going, well, I thought millennials were supposed to be young. Yeah, 10 years ago, when you started blaming everything on my generation, <laughs> we were young. But we aged quickly when we found out that nothing was going to help us. And I know I can feel that table in particular. You, sir, have crossed your legs in a very defiant manner. <laughs> I like how you shaped it and you're so uncomfortable. <laughs> that was fucking brilliant. You're just like, oh yeah? Oh yeah, what's the same you think? Ha! I hate this. <laughs> Phenomenal, brother. I also, by the way, cannot see him at all except for a silhouette, so he might be 25. How old are you, brother? Thank you very much. No problem. How old are you? 68. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> that is the energy of a man that invested well in property in the 90s. <laughs> in the 70s. <laughs> I, I right. want to choke you out with my microphone. For you. <laughs> you probably got a mortgage for 10 grand, you bastards. Six. Six grand. That's insane. Do you understand if you walked into a bank and asked for a mortgage for six grand, they'd just arrest you? <laughs> what did he do? We don't know, but he's up to something. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, for taking that in the spirit in which it was intended, and immediately coming back at me with bullshit, like, oh yeah, well, we, we, we got all the property, but your generation would be able to afford a mortgage if you guys weren't so frivolous with money. Like, your generation spends $20 on breakfast and then i have to say well that's how much breakfast costs <laughs> and i was told by someone in your generation it was the most important meal of the day it is <laughs> don't fucking try and take credit for my job <laughs> it's the most baby boomer move i've ever seen well sipping a red wine no less it feels right which means i'm right and he's wrong well, what is your name bros Rich? Reg. Reg? Reginald. Your name is Reginald. Reginald. You bought property in the 70s for six grand and your name is Reggie? Yeah, my friends call me Reggie. Yeah, I'm sure they do. And look at them shoes. Oh, them your good hiking shoes, aren't they, Reggie? <laughs> Just looked at Jack and he went, they are. Yeah. And Reggie, who are you here with tonight? Uh, my wife, Carol, and my girlfriend, Lulu. <laughs> How cold does it get here in the winter that you guys are all swinging? Also, by the way, this is what I want from swingers, you know what I mean? Just a relaxed, moneyed couple sitting in the back. He's wearing ludicrous sandals. Oh, I just got a Look at those. There's so many straps, Reg. Oh, my God. You've got a lot of money and a thick penis because no one's going to pull those up. I want to point out Carol and Lulu are sharing a laugh and I don't know what it's about, but I have so many questions. And yet I feel like I don't want any of the answers. You know what I mean? I just want to live in the mystery of it all. Have you, been, have you ever been divorced, Reg? Yes. I knew it. No one's named Reggie and has had one wife. You know what I mean? Hello, my name is Reggie. I've been divorced many times and quite frankly, I... Hate it. She was a housekeeper too. She was a housekeeper too? Like your father with the three... Uh, no, 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 Reggie. Father? My father never uh, fiddled with the staff. <laughs> <laughs> he was old school. He went out there like a frontiersman, you know what I mean? Different areas of the country or the world locating future wives. Unlike. Unlike you small-town Winnipeg people who can't look past their own property for whom to cheat on their wife. May I say, Carol is really approaching this with a level of confidence that I think means she used to be a housekeeper. Get married, keep the house. Get married, keep the house? Yeah, the housekeeper. Wait. I don't know how they won that argument, but I think they did. I think Reggie's money comes from the fact Carol found a husband, killed him, Reggie moved in. <laughs> Right? Uh, no. Thank you. Because <laughs> you never deny a murder, but that's the noise you went, ah. I wouldn't say we killed him. I'd say the bullet did that. Oh, I'll tell you this story, and then we'll tell that grocery store story, and then we're done. Then we're fucking done! And me and Reg are going back to his lakefront property, and we're going to smoke those kind of cigars that only rich people have. That's right, Peruvian. <laughs> hey, you thought Cuban. <laughs> Peasants. <laughs> right, Reg? 
he just went exactly. That's the kind of guy who has a, a globe that turns into a bar. <laughs> guy in the back? I guess that one was just for you and me, my friend. <laughs> I don't like when governments tweet because I just want to be like, no, I want a number. I want someone to call and be like, hello, are you the one that said nothing to be done? I'm going to beat you up with one of my friend Reggie's sandals. <laughs> Reggie, you're 68. You are off the hook. You're going to be out of here in 12 to 25 years, right when the climate really turns against the generation. And like all baby boomers, you go, well, that fire seems to be getting close. I'll be going. 